It does not get any easier seeing him go down like that. Neighbors we talked to today are still processing what happened in their typically quiet and be free neighborhood. It's very scary. Neighbors reacting to this scary bee attack that happened Monday afternoon in this Encino neighborhood. L.A. Fire responding to the attack that sent this Los Angeles Police Department West Valley Division volunteer to the ground and eventually to the hospital where the department confirms he remains tonight. I heard very bad news. Officials say the man is being treated for several facial and eye bee stings and a fractured eye socket. He was among some volunteers on scene to assist with traffic control when streets were closed because of the hundreds of bees swarming Adlin Road. Their hive under this home's eaves was somehow disturbed. Nathan Corey's mother had just pulled up to her home when she got caught. And she was saying, like, at first when she got out of her car, there were too many bees, so she got back inside of her car. And then my sister came outside with, like, I think a sheet or something to like kind of like drape over her. Ultimately, she was okay, but Marcella Rodriguez's neighbor, not so lucky. And I didn't realize what was going on until I heard somebody yelling help. And, it, and she was parked right here with her windows down and the bees were attacking her. I think she's one of the two persons that got injured. It's unclear how many people were stung, but it's not surprising given the magnitude. Marcella says she could hear the bees from inside. If you stay by the window, you could hear the noise like The bees are pretty calm unless something or someone disturbing. Jose Marquez works for the bee removal company that responded Monday. He says bees are very protective of their honey and babies. His company made the decision to terminate the bees, a decision he says they didn't take lightly. In order to open the wall and try to save the bees, it's going to take hours and those hours, you have a lot of people getting stung. It's a chance they couldn't take. Neighbors Tuesday night just wishing for the best for the man who was simply trying to protect them. I hope he's doing all right. We'll pray for him. Oh.